all students today we will discuss the first poem of the book first flight the poem name is dust of snow and it is written by robert frost this is a very small and short poem but it has a deeper meaning so poet tells us that sometimes some small and insignificant events or incidents can also bring big changes in our lives so let us read the poem The way a crow shook down on me the dust of snow from a hemlock tree. So this is the first stanza. In the first stanza, the poet tells us that one incident took place in his life which changes his whole life and how it makes a change in his attitude also. So it was a cold winter day and snow was everywhere. Everything was covered with snow. So poet he was in very sad and dejected mood. and he was standing under the hemlock tree so what is hemlock tree it is a poisonous plant which is covered with small white flowers so poet says he was in sad and dejected mood and standing under the hemlock tree and he was lost in his hopeless thoughts suddenly one crow came and sat on that tree so when it sat over there while sitting with its movement the dust particles of snow which were very tiny particles they fall on the poet who was standing under the tree so now let us see the next stanza has given my heart a change of mood and saved some part of a day i had rued firstly the meaning of rued is held in regret so in this stanza the poet tells us that this simple action has changed the poet's mood earlier he was in very sad and dejected mood he was very upset due to some reason which has not been described in the poem but afterwards he became very happy and he uh, his mood was changed it was a happy mood now so after that he realized that he has wasted some part he has wasted some part of his day due to his uh, sadness and due to his dejected mood so afterwards he realized when he got happy that now his mood has been changed and he can use use the remaining part of the day in some useful activity so in this poem we have seen now satisfaction it takes the place of regression that is regret so in this poem one more thing poet makes us clear that the crow which is normally taken to be as the bad omen it is taken as the evil omen and that are the superstitions and hemlock tree which is also a poisonous tree so here in this poem poet has used both these things to change his mood so both these things which are inauspicious things normally considered by the people but here in this poem though both the things they have brought a great change in his life so this is a very short and simple poem but it has a deeper meaning so let us do the poetic devices first is the rhyme scheme now what is rhyme scheme when the last words of the poem they give us same sound that is called rhyme scheme they are rhyming with each other for example we can see first is crow is there so we will give it as a and afterwards next letter is me but it is not rhyming with the crow so with uh, for me we will write b now next word is snow which is rhyming with the crow so we will give it a now next is tree it is rhyming with me so we will write here b so first stanza the rhyme scheme has become a b a b and in the next stanza again afterwards we will see if we combinedly we go then we will move on to the next uh, alphabet that is heart then heart is not rhyming with any of the words so we will make it c then is mood again it is not rhyming with anything so we will write it d and then part is rhyming with heart so we will write it c and rude it is rhyming with the mood so we will give it d so now second stanza it becomes c d c d so this is the rhyme scheme now next is assonance what is assonance assonance means the repetition of vowel sounds in particular line so for example we can see here that is o o o sound is there then o again here o here so this is all in this line we will see assonance uh, poetic device has been used now next is enjambment now what is enjambment enjambment means when
when one line without any sorry when one line moves on to the next line without use of any punctuation mark so after crow we can see there is no punctuation mark there is no full stop or there is no comma or anything so it moves on to the next line and over there again there is also no punctuation mark after me also and after snow also there is no punctuation mark and after tree also there is no punctuation mark means this line moves on to this and this line moves on to uh, next line and then again next line moves on to next and then next one next like this it is moving and at the end full stop is there so this is called enjambment enjambment means when one line moves on to the next line without stopping anywhere without taking any pause due to any punctuation mark next we have alliteration so in alliteration it is the repetition of the same sound in a particular line for example we can see here here h letter uh, h sound has been repeated has given my heart so this is h over here also h the her sound has been repeated so this is known as alliteration next is consonants consonants means again repetition of consonant sounds in a particular line for example it can be in the middle beginning or in the end also so here we can see d d d so d sound has been repeated so this is called consonants now next is imagery now what is imagery it is again a poetic device in which when we are reading any particular literary piece that is poem or any prose so over there when some images Uh, are formed images are evoked in the reader's mind that is called imagery for example already we have seen here while reading this poem we uh, this crow or the hemlock tree it comes to our mind so that is called imagery now next is symbolism now what is symbolism when in any literary piece particular symbols have been used so in this poem like crow dust of snow and hemlock tree these three symbols have been used so why these symbols are used to make the poem or the literary piece more interesting and more clear to understand for the readers so i hope you would understand this poem thank you very much